Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this video, I want to talk about some of the key things that you should keep in mind while doing some presentations guys. Okay. When I say presentations, right, it can be you going for an interview or it can be you presenting some concept or some idea to someone or it can be you presenting your project to someone project presenting your resume to someone all those things i'm talking about here okay and since nowadays most of these things will happen over web over zoom or skype or google meet these kind of stuff right so i want to discuss about some of the things you must take care that will make your presentation very smooth and it will look professional and good okay i had created couple of videos on the same concept guys how to present your output how to give a good online interview how to give a good online presentation all these things i have created you can see the link here but as i talk to more and more people as i interact with more and more students i get some new points that i feel should be added okay so first of all guys i want to talk about few basic stuff when it's about online communication so like the way i'm talking to you right now it's an online communication so when it comes to online communication right three things you should keep in mind always one is your audio quality should be good other person should be able to listen to your voice without any disturbances second thing is your light should be decent i am not saying use a professional you know uh, photography light or some big halogen light or some special lights but you can take care of basic decent lighting conditions right so that it's not dark and third thing is your background guys very very important when you are giving an interview when you are talking to someone for some other discussions when you are coming to my channel for a mock interview when you are coming to present your project or all of this stuff right so on any online platform whenever you are trying to interact with someone remember your light your voice and your background these three are very very important things now let's go one level down and talk about how do you create good ppts right so ppts are nothing but presentations suppose i tell you prepare a presentation on random forest and uh, present it to me okay so i want to see how good you are able to present the concept of random forest okay so how you should go about it is whenever it comes to presentation guys remember few basic stuff presentation has to be short and crisp the reason i am telling you this is always think that the person to whom you are going to present is not having lot of time okay so when tomorrow you work in some organization some companies right you will be presenting your ideas to very senior level people they might be having very limited time with them they might be having like 15 minutes time for you so you should be smart enough to utilize that 15 minutes in best possible way number 1 so how do you do that you prepare limited number of slides and you put your content in those slides so first thing limited number of slides second thing write less and talk more so if you write big big paragraphs in your ppt right that will drift the people's attention from your presentation don't write big big paragraphs in your ppt rather write some bullet points and elaborate those bullet points talk more on those bullet points third is you can add some good looking graphs charts some images some engaging content right you would have seen some um, machinery kind of things people add and then they one machine will be pushing other machine that will be pushing the third machine those kind of shapes and designs you get in ppt you can put those things to to communicate your idea okay some common mistakes what people are doing is they create 100 slides in a presentation you should not do that limited number of slides they write big big paragraphs in their slides you should not do that nobody is interested in reading those big big paragraphs okay write less talk more make it more engaging and make it more you know interactive so you should prepare your slide in such a way that people can stop you in between 
and ask your questions or you can give them a chance to ask questions for example if i talk of a random forest uh, slide or random forest presentation that i told now so first slide will be random forest is a machine learning algorithm and it is an ensemble technique and uh, that is how it works okay and here i can take a pause and say anybody has any question on this so somebody can say okay what is an ensemble machine learning and then maybe you can explain what is ensemble machine learning so what you have to do is you have to create a very good story so first level should be high level what you are going to talk what are the key benefits from this presentation and then you are going to drill that down one after another by going into more and more points not more and more big big stories you try to cover more points and talk more in spite of trying to cover many things and putting many slides and many stories okay that is how your presentation is going to be attractive that is how it is going to look more professional and that is how you are going to gain audience attention in that now suppose tomorrow you are going to write an answer on coda that is also a presentation right that is also a you are presenting your answer to someone so if you write a very long answer right people might be lazy to read it if you write very short answer right then it might not deliver value itself so you have to find a midway where the answer is not very long not very short it is crisp to the point does not bore the audience delivers the message and keeps the momentum of interaction keeps the audience uh, interaction audience connection with the content so what i'm trying to tell you here is whether it is a interview whether you are presenting something to someone whether you are talking about an idea whether you are going to do a startup whatever it is guys whenever you are presenting yourself or your content to someone your idea to someone keep it to the point crisp deliver the message keep it engaging give the audience chance to ask you questions and have a clear cut objective of the presentation in the mind what is that you are trying to achieve from this presentation and then try to evaluate if you were able to do so okay so this is not specific to powerpoint presentation or anything i just thought you know everything is now online in online world what are the things you should take care if you are presenting a ppt what are the things you should take care in general anywhere you are trying to present something you are trying to prepare a content you are trying to give a quora answer how it should be that is what the message from this video guys i want to request you another thing guys i have started coming live on instagram and i have started putting some reels on instagram so please 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 follow instagram unfold data science okay go to instagram search for unfold data science follow it i will paste the link in the description as well and please press the like and subscribe button guys if you are getting benefited from the videos and please press the bell icon so that all the videos reach to you fast i will see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care